Hello, today we're very excited to share with you the Apple Messages for Business channel, one of the latest channels supported in Dynamics customer service. Apple Messages for Business brings the power of rich messages, which are a quick and intuitive interactive message that allows your customer service team to engage with customers in more personalized and engaging ways. Let's begin setup in the Apple Business Register. To configure Messages for Business account, log in with your organization's admin Apple ID. Ensure that the Messages for Business account is enabled. You can enable this connection by clicking the Manage button. For this example, we will be setting up a test account, which our team can start using right away. Inside the Messages for Business account page, click the Add New button. Click Get Started and we will agree with the policy terms and conditions on the next page. On the next page, we will see an overview of the process and can click Next. The account applicant will be automatically populated with your organization's information. So long as you've completed setup within Apple Business Register, add or update any missing fields and click Next. As mentioned earlier, we are creating a test account to select this option, click Advanced, select Internal Test Account, and give it a name. Some steps will differ for the commercial account, but this won't impact the Omnichannel Setup portion. Select a technical contact who will be the owner of this Messages account, and we can move on to choosing our messaging service provider. In this step, it is very important that you select the correct messaging platform, as choosing the wrong geo will prevent messages from reaching your Dynamics environment. First, click Advanced and select URL provided by your messaging platform. The correct URL for each geo can be found within the account setup documentation. Copy and paste this URL into the text box and select Next. Next, We'll whitelist our testers, who will have permission to interact with this account before it's made commercial and goes live. Click Add Apple IDs and add each ID to the text box window, leaving white space between each ID. Confirm adding the users and send them an email with testing instructions and a link to try. We've now created our testing account. Before we move into Dynamics, we will want to locate this account's unique ID. On the following page, additional capabilities like authentication and Apple Pay request can be configured. See Apple's documentation for further information on how to enable OAuth and Apple Pay for your Messages for Business account. These can be configured later. The account ID can be found in two places. First, we can navigate to the section for Messaging Service Provider Configurations and click the link to test your messaging service provider connection. On the next page, we see our Messages for Business account ID. Alternatively, this ID can be found by scrolling down to the Links section and clicking the Copy ID button. Keep your Messages for Business account ID on hand since we will need that in the next step. First get started within the Customer Service Admin Center where we will want to set up our new channel. We'll navigate to Channels under the Customer Service category, and from here we're going to select Messaging Accounts. Then we'll go ahead and click New Account. Let's give our new channel setup a name, and then we're going to go ahead and select Apple Messages for Business from the dropdown. Apple Messages for Business is available through the digital messaging add-on for Customer Service Enterprise. We'll verify our consent and go to the single field required to create this account, where we provide our Apple Messages for Business account ID, which we've already set up through the Apple Business Register. Then we'll finish by pressing Save, and just like that, we're ready to set up our work stream. With our new channel created, we're going to go ahead and navigate back to Channels. Select Messaging, and from here, we're going to click Add Channel. 
Apple Messages for Business supports the exact same familiar features when creating work streams as exist for all other digital messaging channels. With our work stream configured, we will select the Apple Messages for Business account that we just set up. We'll click Next, and you'll see that there are several familiar things, but a couple of new ones. Namely, under Behaviors, you'll notice that there is an authentication setting. And under User Features, Apple Pay. We will be enabling these capabilities once we've completed some additional setup for them. So for now, we're going to go and get the channel started. We want to begin by creating a few rich messages. The first one we're going to create is a basic website rich link. To do this, we will navigate into Agent Experience and select Productivity. You'll see that within Productivity, there is now a new option called Rich Messages. Selecting Manage, we will be able to go in here and edit or create new rich messages. At the top of the screen, we will select New and give our rich message a name, a locale, a rich message type, and any additional tags that we will want. You'll see from the dropdown that there are nine different rich messages available in Apple Messages for Business. We will go ahead and select Website Rich Link for this one, since we're creating a basic privacy policy to provide to customers who request it. Now we're inside of the Rich Message Designer. You'll see here that there are a set of fields, all of which are either required or optional. They're all required in this case, so we will go ahead and quickly fill them out. This no-code solution for designing rich messages is available for all rich message types aside from authentication, Apple Pay, and customized iMessage interactions. We publish our rich message, and once that's all saved, it's ready to use within our conversations. The next piece of setup we're going to do is creating our payment profile and Apple Pay rich messages which will allow our customers to complete transactions from within the Messages application. As before, we're going to go ahead and create a new rich message. We will give it a helpful name so that our agents will be able to find it, choose the locale, and select Apple Pay. Once the rich message is created, we're going to go ahead and just insert a pre-made Apple Pay request rich message. Additional information on the content that goes into this can be found in the documentation. Next, we're going to publish the rich message, which is very important to do before we go and set up our payment profile. To set up our payment profile, we will want to navigate to the customer settings under customer support. Within the payment profile setting, we're going to click add and begin setting up our payment profile. After giving it a name, we are going to go into details. Here, it's first important to make sure that this business messaging account has been updated within the Apple Business Register to support Apple Pay. We include our merchant-friendly name, which is how our customers will be able to identify the payment within their bank statements and when completing purchases. Then we use our merchant ID, upload the merchant certificate, and provide the password for that certificate. Next, we are going to add our payment gateway URL and merchant domain URL. Lastly, we're going to use our merchant two-letter country code, which determines the country payments will be processed in. On the next page, we identify which merchant capabilities and which networks we will support payments from. We're going to add our rich message. In order for payment profiles to work, they must include at least one Apple Pay request rich message, which is what we created in the last step. After selecting our Apple Pay rich message, we hit Next, confirm our information is correct, and then select Create Payment Profile. With that, we have created our payment profile and are ready to add it to the channel instance. However, we're going to take a step back and also complete our authentication settings. Apple Messages for Business supports inline OAuth2 authentication request rich messages, allowing customers to authenticate their identity within the conversation. 
As with Apple Pay requests, we're going to start by creating our authentication request rich message, giving it a name, locale, selecting authentication as the rich message type, and adding any additional tags we may need. We're going to copy and paste our message content. More information can be found within the documentation. After publishing, we move on to creating the authentication setting. As with Apple Pay, we'll need to make sure that our business messaging account is configured to support authentication within the Apple Business Register. You can find the authentication settings under Customer Settings alongside Live Chat Authentication Settings. Let's give our authentication setting a name and choose Apple Messages for Business as the channel type. Under Details, we will provide our client ID, client secret, the scope, which tells us what type of information we're asking for from the customer, and the decrypted token URL. Under Additional Details, we can determine how long we want the customer's authentication to last before they'll need to sign in again. Finally, we'll add our authentication request rich message. This is the one we created earlier. We'll go ahead and add that, take a look at our details, make sure it's all correct, and finish. Now we're ready to go and add Apple Pay and authentication settings to our channel instance. We'll navigate into our work stream and select Edit. Under Behaviors, we will turn on Authentication and select our new authentication setting. Then we will go into User Features, turn on Apple Pay, and select our payment profile. Save and close. And just like that, we've added Apple Pay and authentication, and we're ready to get started.